During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about a new concept in farming that got introduced about 10 or 15 years ago called refuge acres. The world completely changed when the BT that we used to sprinkle over the tops of our crops actually got put into the plant itself as a trait. Yeah, it's a natural toxin. What they had for many years is there was this natural product that they had found. It, they discovered this. It was a protein that humans and most animals could digest just fine, but certain insects like European corn borer that just would destroy corn, European corn borer couldn't digest this certain protein. And it was a, a natural product, so everybody thought it was great. Even organic farmers would use this. And then they actually found a way to inject that into corn plants. So that's where BT corn came from. Well, it was a very specific protein that attacked very specific insects. So it wasn't one that killed every bug out in the field, just the problem ones like but European the problem, corn borer. But the whole problem with that is the farmers and scientists were worried that someday resistance would come along. In other words, these bugs would build up a tolerance to that toxin so that toxin would no longer kill the bugs and that's where refuge acres came in. So farmers were required to leave 20% of their acres without that BT trait in their crop. That way there was a spot where those insects could go and feed and keep producing. So the ones that were surviving in nature were not just the very few that became resistant to the crop, but there were a good majority in that 20% of acres that were gonna be out there that were still susceptible to the trait. So majority of the farmer's acres could be protected without the big risk of resistance. So farmers like us who've been planting BT corn for the last 10 or 15 years, we have been required, if we wanted to plant BT corn on our whole farm, we couldn't do it. We're required to plant 20% of our acres as refuge acres. And not only that, but we have certain requirements in terms of where these refuge acres have to be. In other words, they have to be in a field or in a field that borders next to a BT cornfield. So I realize that's a little confusing, but let me just say you can't put all your BT acres on one area of the farm and all your refuge acres 10 miles down the road. They have to be all real close together. So while farmers want to protect a majority of their acres with that BT trait that will keep the European corn borers out, they do have to leave 20% of the acres unprotected. So what farmers were allowed to do is plant the unprotected acres all together. Maybe starting on one end of the field with unprotected acres and then plant the rest of the field with the BT trait. That would allow the farmers to start on the one end of the field with an insecticide that could kill that bug if the pressure got so heavy it was damaging the crop. Other farmers were planting their refuge acres around the border of the field. That way they could treat the borders with insecticide if necessary. Well, once again, these refuge acres are something that as farmers 20 years ago, we never even had to think about. But due to the advent of BT corn, refuge acres are something that every farmer today is concerned with when it comes to corn farming in the Midwest. Well, whether an acre is protected with a BT trait for insect control or not, we still need to control the weeds in the field too. We'll talk about our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.